Hello, I'm here with Chad and he's here to talk to us about his tiny home on wheels. <laughs> What's her name? Uh, Althea is Althea. her name. Althea. Yes. A little and... Grateful Dead reference. <laughs> All right, and how long have you been living in Althea? Not very long, so I'm very new to van life at this point in time, so about coming up on three months, so three months full time, so, or a month and two, two and a half months. Picked her up on May 1st of this year, 2022. Do you wanna tell us about the van, like what year is it, what model, or all the, those kind of details? Kind of the specs? Yeah, sure. the specs. So it is a 2022 Mercedes Sprinter uh, 170 extended 4x4. So uh, this is kind of the biggest van Mercedes makes um, and you'll see why <laughs> once we get to the inside. But it is a very capable vehicle. Uh, with the 4x4 it can pretty much go almost anywhere um, and that was the point. Uh, I wanted to be able to go to uh, far off places and, and Althea can get me there for sure. Cool. How do you make money on the road? Okay, so I own three companies. I've worked for myself for a very long time. So I was remote before remote was a thing. Um, I was working remote in 2012. My first company, I'm a design consultant. So I work in the fields of land planning and interior design. And then I also do some real estate on the side. So I own a couple of real estate and rental properties. Uh, and then the last company I started during the pandemic and I'm a freelance photographer. So I travel around and shoot for companies and uh, take pictures. So yeah, those are my three ways of uh, surviving on the road. So, and blessed that I can do them completely full time from the road, uh, don't need an office, uh, mm -hmm. just an internet connection and, uh, and some gear, so. And what do you use for internet? Uh, internet, I currently, and we'll see as we go through the van. Um, I have a setup with a PEP wave. Um, it basically takes a SIM card, a Verizon SIM card, and a T-Mobile SIM card, and it spins it into a wireless for the van. Um, but for the last month, we've been testing Starlink, um, and very, very excited about what Starlink can offer you know, mobile van lifers and RVers in the future. It's truly, truly incredible. We're working on a solution right now to put Starlink permanently in the van, which will be done probably next month, we hope. But right now, um, you and I are standing kind of in the middle of nowhere. We don't have cell service and Starlink was flying last night and completely high-speed internet, no issues. It's truly awesome. Okay, so you designed it, but you got another company to build it, right? Yes. So professionally, I do a lot of interior stuff, um, whether it's interior home renovations or working with other interior design clients. And so interior design and space planning is kind of what I do for a living, sort of. The concept or the idea of me designing everything that I possibly could want in 80 square feet was very appealing to me. I spent a very long time and very detailed drawings were created to kind of design Althea on the inside. But I hired uh, Ross Monster Vans out of Longmont, Colorado to do the interior build for me, actually to do the build entirely, interior, exterior, and they did a fantastic job. Um, absolutely incredible uh, what they created, um, or what we created, I should say. Very detailed drawings, very detailed specs were created, and then they knocked it out of the park with the build. So yeah, super happy. Excellent. Okay, do you want to take us for a look inside? Yeah, we can totally look inside. Awesome. Or do you want to look, do you want to walk? Let's walk outside real oh, fast. Okay, first. sure thing. Is that easier? Totally. Okay. Kind of one of the big features is you'll walk to the front of the van. We did line X kind of throughout and all around the van, but the whole entire front of the van is covered in line X. So the front bumper, the front grill, the front hood, um, all coated with a really great protective material. It also just looks really cool. It so. sure does. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a beast. Yeah, she's a monster. <laughs> um, I've got an aluminous ladder, an aluminous rooftop, kind of basically the entire platform up, to, up top. It's a, uh, a, I think they call it a double loop uh, aluminous. And then Rome built 
is the side steps and then we did line x on all the flares or both flares on both sides and then we did alvans uh, rear tire carrier on the other side we have the sherpa carrier um, with their medium sized box and then we'll highlight maybe the garage which is a super cool feature of the van Absolutely, yeah. the garage is kind of built for outdoor fun and play specifically and storage the original or this design was done with two slides on 500 pound slides themselves this was designed to have six yeti storage boxes that's completely removable or they can be you know kept here obviously super easily accessible to kind of get to gear so on and so forth and then basically this just closes up and then just slides away And then wanted a place to put my bike. It's summertime right now, so we're outdoor riding a lot, hiking a lot. So I have kind of a shoe rack built for my helmets and for my hiking stuff. But then in the wintertime, when the biking stuff all comes out, there is a full ski rack there um, that lets me put three sets of skis and kind of all my gear for, for winter gear. So the van is completely built to be four seasons and is truly kind of this is all the fun stuff these are all the toys mm -hmm. where all the toys go so you have a, a little bike mount to fix yeah. your bike yeah so this is a door. park tool on the door so i can hang my bike work on the bike i have arb a full um the arb onboard air compressor so can air down tires not only on the bike but then tires uh with the van um, as well outdoor shower setup too not only can i shower outside it's actually really nice to be able to clean and wash the bike so mm -hmm. with the rocky mount um, bike rack which is over here at least swings into the way i can set the bike up and clean it and wash it and make sure that it's well taken care of uh, through the summer months which is awesome and then i'll close it and this is kind of how some of the grateful dead references start <laughs> <laughs> so we pulled the mercedes logo off and uh yeah uh, the steal your face logo was added very much so. <laughs> um, and there's some references to the Grateful Dead throughout the entire van uh, and some of the details uh, which again just make it personal to me yeah. and you know uh, make it a part of kind of who I am I have a Grateful Dead reference on me um, <laughs> it's uh, yeah Althea is uh, definitely noticeable if you're driving behind me so <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna spot him out on the road exactly Along with, again, a little reference to, to Althea herself. Um, this was a feature that everybody carries. Max tracks, or at least uh, many van lifers and overlanders carry. If you're, if you're smart. If you're smart, yeah. <laughs> You'll need them at some point, I promise. Um, Ross Monster Vans, the company that built my interior, designed kind of this little side table um, and they call it a little happy hour table, oh. but it's basically a way to not only carry your max tracks, but then you have a nice place to put your coffee or put your cocktails in the evening Beautiful. or whatever. So, um, <laughs> and actually you can buy these, if you're building your own van, you can buy these from Ross Monster as a one-off um, and put them on your own van. So oh. you can totally put them on your own. So it's a product that they sell, um, but it's, you know it's, it's like pretty, a two-in-one i two love in one. how functional it is exactly exactly so yeah pretty awesome yeah. one of my favorite features inside inside let's go uh i'll let you go first okay well first i think i see a little shoe cubby okay let's check that out definitely a shoe cubby kind of gets a couple different shoes depending on the season um <laughs> i have a plug right here that is accessible for specifically basically this table so this comes down and slides out oh nice so i can plug anything in or if just hanging out outside speakers or whatever have anything. a little outdoor cooktop yeah. little hangout spot yeah. for, for outside perfect for sure. maybe kind of is the feature that everybody i don't know notices or at least comments on like getting into the van is this is completely blank, and this is actually the same surface as my countertops. Um, in the interior design world, it's called a waterfall edge. Um, my van builders did not know what that was, but we created it. So it basically just frames the cabinets, 
I wanted the interior to be very clean and contemporary, kind of modern looking, and that definitely, in my opinion, kind of gives it that feel. So no switches, no plugs, no, you know, anything kind of, I don't know, uh, deterring your eye, but it's just one solid piece of Corian countertops. Excellent. Kind of a very different look for an interior of a van. Yeah. Very, very much my style. You need help. <laughs> Thank you. So the inside of the van is very specific to me, but also kind of just very functional. A lot of vans we noticed, or I noticed when I was looking at van tours and things like that, the shower was always on this side. I opted to put the shower on the left side or the passenger side. So we'll kind of see that space here in a second, but it helped kind of design the layout, so to speak. Two drivers really were main things that I wanted in the van. I wanted a really great office or a really great place to sit for long hours if I had to work many, many hours, which happens occasionally. So we designed a very specific desk. Um, we actually purchased another Mercedes Sprinter chair and built a complete desk setup uh, around that. So that design and that kind of layout really drove what this kind of countertop looked like. And then same thing, the shower kind of drove the side of the, uh, the design. So we've got an 18 inch Krauss sink uh, and faucet with a uh, soap dispenser. The best feature in the van, I have a full size <laughs> trash can. Essential. Uh, that slides out, yeah, and a little extra drawer here. Mm -hmm. um, so this is actually really great. Um, the sink itself, has uh, seven gallons of gray water underneath it, just in a little pull-out tank. And then the shower has 17 gallons of gray water underneath the van that's controlled by a pneumatic valve. So I can just push a button and empty it when I want to. The front of the countertops here, we have an Isotherm 200, Cruise 200, I think is what it's called. The key is it's the fridge freezer. <laughs> that's what everybody <laughs> notices. And it is, when I say fridge freezer, it's a an actual, freezer, a dedicated <laughs> freezer, which yes. is really luxury to have ice, to be able to keep meat frozen or anything frozen, fish frozen. It's really, really, really nice. Um, and then the van storage for the fridge is quite immense as well. So, mm -hmm. so I'm going to a festival in two days per day. <laughs> so there's a lot of alcohol in there. Oh yeah, I gotta <laughs> so, stock up. <laughs> exactly. Two burner induction, which is great. There's zero gas or, or propane in the van. That was purposeful on the design part. Um, just whatever, wanted it to be all electric. So I guess maybe I can just add what the the electric system is so it's a it's 600 lithium amp hours of batteries it's a 3000 watt inverter it's all victron yeah it's fantastic it's it allows me to stay off grid for a very long time basically charge the system through the second alternator running the vehicle sadly i don't have enough solar to keep up with how big the batteries are so solar is kind of an ancillary thing for me i've got too much other stuff on the roof and I mean, if I line the entire roof with solar panels, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, but at this point, uh, just running the van uh, charges the system quite well. So these are just kind of standard drawer banks, pretty simple. And then the shower. The whole system's run on what's called a Firefly system. So this is a full touch screen, kind of gives me all of my controls. Um, I can turn lights on and off. Uh, with the touch of a button and it is a really fantastic system. Yeah, no light switches, no anything in the in the just van. One just master one control. master control. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Shower and and, and toilet setup. So it's a really big shower. Um, I'm not a small human being. So uh, this was something that I really, really wanted. And it's a shower I use. Like legitimately, I shower two to three times a week. So I have 40 gallons of fresh water on board, which is a lot for a van, um, which it does allow me to shower more often than most. This funky space age looking <laughs> shower head, um, it's called a Nibia shower head and it saves maybe, they claim 50 to 60% of what a standard shower head would save uh, in water usage. So that again allows me to shower more often than most, uh, which is amazing. And then we have an airhead composting toilet, which, is awesome. It's super small. Composting toilets are the best. Like, yeah. I don't know. I just can't. It's, it's really easy to use. 
Um, super easy to change. I can take it out if I want to. Mm -hmm. um, I can keep it in there. So yeah, it's the shower is perfect. I love it. I awesome. absolutely love it. And then the desk, again, we specifically designed the desk kind of around the dimensions of my body. So <laughs> I, you know, love sitting here and can sit here and comfortably work long hours. Yeah. And it was very purposeful. We did this just for this reason, to create a space where I can sit and work for six, seven, eight hours a day if I have to. And yeah, it's awesome. I've used it many, many times. Mm -hmm. So long days of working and it's worked out really, really well. The last two pieces of the, of the side, um, we just did a really simple hanging closet. I'm obviously known for my beard. Um, <laughs> so I have a mirror and a way to take care of my beard. But then, yeah, it's like hanging coats and, and, and jackets in the winter time and stuff like that. Place for hats and some storage. Um, and then below, as a freelance photographer, I'm carrying a lot of gear usually with me, we built a full size safe. So I will literally just do this, open this up and all these go in here. Yeah. And it's bolted to the frame of the van. So if you're yeah. thinking about coming and get to say, good, <laughs> good luck trying to get it out. Uh, it weighs a lot and it is not going anywhere. It ain't going nowhere. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then we just have a simple pass through to the garage, which is really great. If I just need to get something really fast. Um, and then, yeah, a uh, queen size bed, which is great. A custom mattress around the flares, which is awesome. I can, because it's an extended, I can sleep lengthwise or with the flares I can sleep this way mm -hmm, the little pop outs so, the little pop outs which mm -hmm. are really great and then all of my clothes are basically in there and then up top we've got a uh, full AC it's a nomadic 3000 um, so it's a 12 volt AC unit super efficient I use it well whenever it's really hot <laughs> and it's really great not gonna yeah. lie I can run it really quite longer than most uh, standard AC units. So, I mean, there's days when I was in Phoenix that I ran this for four, five, six hours in a day and it was no issues whatsoever. Wow. So, yeah, really awesome, really awesome. And then, of course, like, you start to see some of the lighting. Ross Monster Vans kills their lighting packages, mm -hmm. the upper cabinet lighting, the lower cabinet lighting, even on the floor down here with the toe kick the lighting. Toe kick, yeah. yeah, it's super cool, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's basically Althea. Okay. <laughs> I mean, for me, like if you're building your own van or if you're designing your own van and you're having somebody else build it for you, I mean, it's it was easy for me because I deal in space planning. I, I can see things in 2D and understand how they're gonna look and feel and that type of thing. And that's what I drew on paper is exactly what you see here, which is, Pretty awesome. Kudos to Ross Monster for kind of helping me create this. But the spaces themselves are, you know, super important. But I think when you're going through your list and you're building your van, think about the things that are must-haves for you, like that you can't live without. Whether it's a shower or a toilet or, you office. know, an office or a big fridge or whatever it is, those things you have to have in the van and then work around those. Um, because eventually you're going to come to a spot where you're going to run out of space and run out of room and something's going to have to go. So you start to have to compromise and decide, okay, I can live without that, but I have to have this, those types of things. So, and that's kind of how I went about designing the inside. Um, it was just, you know, really thinking about my must-haves and what I want to live with every day versus what, what could I live without? What's not that important to me? So. I think that really, you keep that in mind as you're designing your layout and, and you'll be successful and you'll create something ultimately that you'll love. So, and I absolutely love Althea, she's awesome. Excellent. Yeah. If anyone wants to follow you on your journey, do you have any social media that you want to share, like sure. your Instagram or anything? Yeah, websites? no, absolutely. So Instagram for the van uh, in my travels is Bearded Van Life. Obviously you follow along on Instagram. I post tons of photo, photos and videos and places I travel, um, you know, reach out, um, communicate. Um, and then as a freelance photographer, um, Bearded Image is my company on Instagram and you can go to beardedimage.com as well. Um, yeah, those are probably 
the two places you can find me. Um, if you're a really good stalker, you can find all the other, you know, links <laughs> and social media. But uh, those are the two main ones. Yeah, Bearded Van Life and Bearded Image. So. Excellent. Okay, well, thank you so much for um, doing the tour and yeah. showing us your tiny home. It's of been course. a pleasure. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> God, I was going to say something else. I just forgot. Ah, what You're was good. it? What was it? Um, oh, it's like at the tip. Okay, I'll, You'll I'll think, think of it. it. Yeah, yes. okay. 100%. All right. Um, do you want to show us around your little... Oh, well, I remember now. Okay. Okay. <laughs>